Hi, I'm coming to you from last year. Reason why I'm coming to you from last year is because this is a pre recorded video. And today I'm going to try something that I've never tried before, as is usually the case. It has some dust on it. I acquired this, excuse me, I had a gin and tonic, so I'm a little bit burpy. I acquired this on the 15th of February 2019 so it's been a while right now it is the 27th of December 2019 and the reason I'm mentioning the date and that I'm coming to you from last year is that today is the day where this channel has reached and surpassed 10,000 subscribers. I did not believe or think that it would ever have been possible back when I started this Food Quake channel and started doing little restaurant outings and trying the food in the restaurants and then it morphed into a channel having to do with whiskey. And I want to thank everyone in the whiskey community who has subscribed and watched my videos uh, for making this possible to reach this great milestone. And I'm not usually one for milestones, but 10,000 subscribers, I didn't think it would be possible. And I didn't think I would have over 2 million views, but there are that many people who watched me. I'm humbled by this. Thank you very much. Now on to the whiskey. This one has got a tricky, I haven't opened this box yet. I've had this box for like, you know, 11 months and I've never opened it. And this might be tricky. It is tricky. Wait, maybe I got it. It's got little bits that catch on other little bits. And this is a stubborn one that does not want to be opened. Just to get the, the box. Ah, there. I got this little fold out part. See, these parts kind of wedge themselves in there. And wow. Okay. This is Caribou Crossing, single barrel Canadian whiskey, bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. But 40% alcohol by volume does not necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Because I also had Crown Royal XR which was bottled at 40%. And it is phenomenal as soon as it opens up. I'm guessing that this one might do the same thing. This has got a caribou on the top. It's a little bit like Blanton's. And this is from Sazerac, actually, just like Blanton's is. But there's a difference. And I'll let you in on that soon. First, what I'm going to do is, come on you, I'm going to pour me a dram, and then I'm going to read what I can that's on the box. It has a fancy bag with a little caribou on it, just like you get fancy bags from Crown Royal. Packaging, that's what it is. It's that Canadian packaging. Let's get these little Pull tabs pulled and get the seal broken, get the cork open. Yeah, that's one down, sort of like a, a wax seal. And here's another, oh, there's another seal. Now I can probably get this open. Ah, a real, real cork. Okay, let's pour it. And once I've poured it, I let it open up a little bit. I'm going to tell you, it's a nice bottle. Look at that. It's got caribous on it. It's got a caribou right there. It's got a bunch of writing on the back. It's got another caribou on this side. And it's got the uh, caribou crossing single barrel. It is a nice presentation. Very classy presentation. 
But we'll let it open up for a moment while I go through what's on here. This is kind of neat the way it changes color as you go around. It's, it's all about packaging. It says here, mm -hmm. like the long seasonal journeys taken each year by the majestic caribou herds of North America, this bottle of Caribou Crossing Single Barrel Canadian Whiskey has been on a journey of its own. Caribou Crossing Single Barrel has been painstakingly handcrafted by our expert whiskey making team, which has selected the finest whiskey available. Whiskey has been patiently aged in oak for many years to give it a rich and complex yet smooth flavor. Each barrel is then bottled individually with expert care and skill under rigorous quality standards. A new Canadian whiskey is bold and adventurous as the great caribou who roam the wild. Caribou Crossing is a Canadian whiskey unequaled by any other. That's saying a lot. Tout comme le long trajet saisonnier qui parcourt chaque année les majestueux troupeaux de caribou de l'Amérique du Nord. Cette bouteille de whisky canadien Caribou Crossing Single Barrel a un parcours bien à elle. I'll finish with the French. All right. I read slower in French than in English. Oh, yeah, on the bottom here, after all the French stuff, it says available in limited quantities at, at select stores. Sazerac Distillers of Canada, Inc., Montreal, Quebec. So Sazerac, if you've got some Canadian thing with Sazerac on the label and it's Canadian whiskey, most likely it comes from the same place this does or it comes from the same place as some of this does, because this is probably a blend. A blend of corn and rye. What does it say on here? Oh, this is small writing, very small writing. Um, Caribou Crossing Single Barrel is painstakingly handcrafted, expert whiskey making team, blah, blah, blah. Personally selected finest whiskey available. It said that already. Okay, Sazerac Distillers of Canada, Montreal, Quebec. Return for refund. We love to hear from our customers. Oh, they have a one. They have a phone number too. www.sazerac.com. That's probably the same phone number uh, for the Sazerac that you you call from uh, from the states. And uh, just like a Blanton's, it has the uh, caribou on the top. All right. Ooh, a little bit enthusiastic there, Quig. Huh. I'll take it easy. Easier. It's 40%. I don't expect a lot of legs. Yeah, down they come, down they come rapidly. Huh. It has a delicious aroma. The nose comprises of corn, sweetness, some rye. It's almost waxy. Like crayons. Reminds me of crayons. But don't forget, I had a gin and tonic before this. Ugh. Yeah, corn. Rye. It's um, creamy. Very creamy. Um, caramel, vanilla, and creamy. 
a little bit of a hay note as well. Like hay, wet hay. It does smell good. It costs. Here it is. $99.99 Canadian in British Columbia. Plus, of course, 10 cent bottle deposit and $15 taxes, five of which is goods and services tax, and the other 10 is British Columbia liquor tax. So, $915.09 out the door, probably round out, round, rounded up to $915.10 because we don't have pennies anymore. Unless you paid with Interac, then you'd get away with the nine cents. <laughs> or a credit card as well. But if you paid cash, which I think I did, I paid an extra penny. Oh, it does smell nice. It is pleasant. I will not add water because 40% after all. Wow. For a 40% Canadian whiskey, it has some big flavors. Quite a punch of rye, a lot of corn sweetness. It's creamy, very creamy. It's like cream style corn creamy. Ah. Take another little sip. Mm. The creamy vanilla, that punch of rye, caramel. Caramel note is in there as well. The mouthfeel is a little light. I would like it to be a little richer and thicker, but for 40%, what are you asking for? And it's a single barrel, it says, but it doesn't say which barrel. This one was a leftover from the 2018 uh, British Columbia liquor store um, premium spirits release of 2018. I got this early in 2019. There were some leftovers. There are probably some leftovers from the 2019 batch as well. I don't know if it will be the same. There might be some batch variation. But I'm guessing that they made it. It's Sazerac. So they're making a consistent product. We're talking Sazerac. We're talking Buffalo Trace. And they're still making whiskey in Montreal. I went to look at the uh, on the Google Maps um, at the old Seagram's plant where the uh, some of the um, Crown Royal XR is uh, comes from and that's now called Diageo Canada Inc. This is not Diageo this is Buffalo Trace. This is Sazerac. It's lovely. It's nice. It's easy drinking. I wonder what's going to happen to it as the bottle, as the fill level goes down. It smells delicious. It's got some of that corn sweetness which has a tendency to come across on the nose like 
maple syrup. Delicious nose. Delicious flavor. What's not to like? Well, the mouthfeel is a little bit thin. And if this were bottled at like 45%, like the um, Weiser's 35, or the um, Canadian Club 41, oh. This is definitely, however, a nice starter whiskey if you're going to go for the ultra premium stuff, ultra premium Canadian stuff. You wet your whistle with this before you go to like Weiser's 35 or you go to um, Canadian Club um, 41 or you go to Crown Royal XR. Nice, lovely stuff. Yeah. You get what you pay for in this instance. And the presentation is, is uh, non pare. You can't get a better pres presentation than this. This is, this is beautiful. This is like, a, like jewelry almost. And the whiskey isn't bad. It's all right. Like I said, I wonder how this is going to go as it the level lowers down. Yeah, I could drink this almost every day. And what I would like to see is as it ages in the bottle or as it oxidizes, I would like the rye sharpness to diminish somewhat because it's a little sharp just a little and I would like to see the creaminess get thicker it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this one well thank you very much and I will drink to your very good health cheers food quick <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>